Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about Emmet. Emmet is a, a package um, or it's a plugin, it's a code assist plugin people that you can use with various softwares uh, but in Sublime Text 2, that's exactly my editor today. Uh, I'm going to show you how that allows you to expand your code real quick, expand your HTML and CSS real quick. Uh, with an example today. People, uh, we have an empty uh, document right now and let me show you the end product and this is what we are gonna set out to create. Let's see how we can actually do this using uh, the code assist plugin or package as we call it in Sublime Text. I'm gonna start off by writing HTML colon 5 and at times you're gonna press tab and uh, when tab doesn't expand your code there'll be times when tab will work like a tab and not expand their code in which case we'll be using control plus E so let me tab and the moment I hit tab people you see the code beautifully expands so basically you can see that I'm working with HTML5 the latest doc type <coughs> the cursor is blinking out here which will allow us to change the title. Let me start off by uh, inserting my website name. So that is qualitylessons.net. People, I can press Control plus Control and plus together to expand uh, the font size or to decrease the font size like this. So that's Control uh, and plus or minus symbol. Right, that's great. Let me get inside the body of the document and let's say I would want to use the H1 and then opening and closing you know square brackets because I'll be using the style tags. Make sure that the cursor is blinking right at the end of line 8 and then tab. You see this is how uh, you know you see uh, my sublime text to my editor is actually emit package enable you need to enable it there's a procedure uh, there are several tutorials on YouTube that you can actually check you can google it up but at the moment since I'm using emit I'm able to expand my code quickly okay <clears throat> I can not only expand my HTML people I can expand my CSS too in a way that I'm about to show you I would want to use the font shorthand property so F plus for that and along with that I would want to use margin left of 50 px so F plus stands for expansion of the font shorthand property ML margin left 50 or 50 px let me press tab you see tab work like a tab out here so we are gonna use control E out here when tab doesn't work you see how beautifully the code actually expands and I'm gonna I'm using the font shorten property so bold 10 ems Arial sans serif margin left 50 px you see how the code actually expands okay beautiful and inside the opening and the closing h1 tags people I'm gonna use span tags so span again I'm gonna use inline styles okay inline style which means that I'll be using the style attribute and a value of the letter E make sure that the cursor is blinking at the end of line number 9 hit tab the code expands the HTML expands now since I'm inside the style attribute I can expand my CSS too so let's do that I'm gonna say C and control E to expand my code instead of using hex code people I'm gonna use color names we have 147 color names that we can use uh, with your HTML documents crimson is one of them right <coughs> let's save the document up let's uh, bring Chrome up let's refresh to see what have we done so far so all we have done so far is brought up the letter E next people what I'm gonna do is very appropriately I'm gonna copy line number 9 I'm gonna hit enter and paste it 
and we'll make, uh, make a change to the color so this becomes medium blue the letter E out here becomes B B uh, as in eBay so E B A Y I'm gonna change the letters one by one and even the colors that's exactly what I've done and then let's tab twice paste the code again this time crimson becomes orange and A as in eBay right again I'm gonna go out here tab tab paste this time the color becomes uh, yellow green again one of the 147 color names allowed and this becomes Y as in eBay right I think I'm actually done let's save the document up bring the browser up let's refresh and uh, notice the way we have uh, you know form the word eBay almost like uh, we have on the eBay side almost but not quite but you see there's a problem we have extra spaces out here which we don't want it's very easy to uh, correct that all you need to do is after every uh, closing span tag where we hit enter you just hit delete so that it's in one straight line like this okay delete like this okay make sure that you remove remove the carriage returns and it should be uh, in one continuous uh, flow right now I should be saving my document up let's bring the browser up let's refresh to see the change so this looks quite like the eBay that you are so used to seeing people the colors are a little different the, the fonts are a little different okay the font is a little different the font size is, is different too is uh, not the same but um, I just used a practical example to show you how emit a package for uh, you know sublime text and it's a plugin for many other HTML editors uh, that you can use to you know edit your document real quick you can uh, create your uh, documents real quick I've just showed you the tip of the iceberg there's so much more that you can do people there's so much more and it actually um, takes the pain away of remembering a lot of code I would urge you to get into the detail and use see once you become an advanced user you're not gonna stick to writing your code the normal way you're gonna stick to uh, plugins like Emmet and Zen coding Zen coding advanced version now it's called actually it's called Emmet you know it, it empowers you even further so start using as a smart coder Emmet uh, just like me and code out real quick people I hope you found this information uh, useful you have a good day bye bye peace